have a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. My topic for today is, it's time to go to training camp. The word train means to form or focus or direct. And in this case, we are trying to direct, we're trying to focus a child or a young, a babe in Christ. Yes, sir. Youth leaders and servants of God, it is our responsibility to train them. It is our responsibility to focus on what to do. It's our responsibility to direct them the way to go in this training camp. And in order to do that, we as youth leaders and as servants of God must do three things. First, we must encourage them. Second, we must be an example. And third, we must not hate, but congratulate. My first point, encourage. We need to encourage them that this Christian journey is not going to be easy. There's going to be times when they're going to want to go in their closet and say, you know what, Lord, I give up. It's just too much. But we need to remind them what 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and 13 says. He will not suffer you to be tempted beyond what you can bear. And usually we like to stop there and say, God won't put more on us than we can bear. But the second part of that verse says, but with the temptation will also make a way of escape. So through all the temptation, through all the hurt, when you feel like your end is coming, guess what? He's going to make a way of escape. When it feels like all the bills is coming and you ain't got no money, somebody is going to give you a blessing and make a way of escape. You got to encourage them. Let them know that the word is a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their path. You got to continue to encourage them. Don't leave them high and dry. When somebody comes into the church, you need to encourage them because it's new. Coaching can be scary. It can be scary. So we need to encourage them in the Lord. Second, you need to be an example. The definition of a leader is a person who commands authority or influence. And us as leaders and us as Christians have the authoritative power to make an influence over these babes in Christ. Because we've been here for a while. We know what it's like to be down on our luck and know what it means to go in the midnight hour to your prayer closet and pray you out of some stuff. We know what it feels like, so we need to be an example. I got a quick example for that. I live with three other girls. None of them know Jesus. I live with three other girls. And one of my roommates, she's decided to start going to church with me. And she decided this because one day I was feeling down in my love. I had prayed. I had sang some hymns. And I was still down. And she came to me. She said, Kaylee, you know what? She said, you are an example to me. She said, Because of your faith, I realize that I need to reconnect with God. It's because when you walk around with things happening in our apartment, you just be like, oh, it's cool, and you go in your room and pray. I don't get upset. I don't curse them out. I could, but I don't. Praise the Lord. And it's because of it is because of her that I realize, you know what, God, I'm not going to give up. I'm making a difference. I'm being an example. I have that authoritative power to influence her life, and I have. She's picked up her Bible. She started praying more, Amen. and that's what we all need to do. We need to take the authoritative power that is in us and influence another. And thirdly, we need to stop hating and congratulate the babes of Christ. Too many in church services too many times I've sat in meetings and heard the old saints get upset when the person that they have mentored has made it to higher heights than them we should be happy that they accepted the Lord Jesus Christ and accepted their gift we need to still encourage them once they get there because leadership could be hard walking under the anointing is hard because they're going to have temptation so we need to stop hating on them and congratulate them that's right. Right. Thank you, Lord. Because we need to encourage them with words in the Bible. We got to continue to stay spiritual. We got to continue to stay holy. We got to remind them how Jesus could use anybody. He used the stuttering Moses. He used David the shepherd boy. He used the three Hebrew boys. He used you. How he used dirty you, cussing you, stank attitude you. Don't be afraid to share your testimony. You got to encourage them with what you went through. They just said you would ask something. How he used lying you, 
I told my friends the other day, Jesus' disciples, they was all at something. Woo! They didn't know that one of Jesus' disciples was a thief. Uh -huh. Right. Right. So you got to congratulate them. Don't hate them. So remember, as you are walking in leadership, as you sign a name to be a sergeant in this training camp, All right. All right. you remember to congratulate them when they make it through. Right. You encourage them along the way. Right. And you always be always. an example. Yes. Amen. Amen.